We are talking about a whole new kind of hot chocolate. Sarah Lewis is a corporate pastry chef at the ranch at Las Colinas, and we are lucky enough to have her with us this morning. Okay, what are we making? Today we are actually going to go over our chipotle chocolate layer cake. So, if you insist, <laughs> okay, I might fine. have tasters for you at the end too. Yeah. Um, I am going to show you how we are doing the frosting today. I've already started, and in the bowl we have got a chipotle puree, and chipotle is a smoked dried mm -hmm. jalapeno, um, some milk. There is a pound of butter, and then there is some vanilla. So we're actually going to let this whip for about six or seven minutes until it gets light and fluffy. Um, just for time's sake, we're going to skip to the next step. The next yes, step we will. <laughs> is actually a cocoa powder and powdered sugar um, sifted together. And the easiest way to get it into your mixer is not to dump it because that makes a huge mess, believe me. <laughs> right. It has happened before. A cloud of chocolates. Oh my goodness, it's ridiculous. Fumes. Hey, you smell really good, but you're a mess. Um, so one scoop at a time, you're basically going to put it down into your mixer. See, there's the cloud right there. Right. There's the cloud. You can imagine so, how So if you were doing this, is. you'd add the scoop, you'd mix. And you'd mix it just a little right. bit. You put it back up and you mix it, and then right. you add another scoop. Sure. Mm -hmm. And then the very last step is actually going to be a little bit more milk just to make the consistency right. Mm -hmm. So we add the milk right in there again, and we're going to mix the entire thing. And... Oh my goodness, oh my look goodness, at that. How did that work out? Now, I, I gotta ask you about the first ingredient, the chipotle yes. what? Puree. A puree so, of chipotle. Yeah, how do you make it's, that? So it's chipotle peppers, which as I said was a smoked and dried um, jalapeno. So it has a little bit of heat. It's not anything okay. crazy. Can you use the canned version? Is that crazy? Absolutely can. Okay. Use the can. You put it in okay. a uh, Roboku or a blender and you just blend it all up and it's the exact same thing. Okay, so. I got to watch uh, a thing of beauty okay, here because okay. this would be a mess <laughs> if I tried this. You know, it's not as hard as it seems. You have your, your chocolate here and you just plop it right on top. You have a lot of fun. It's like painting a picture. This is a nice thick icing. It that you is a up with very too. thick icing. It kind of has to be to hold three layers of cake together. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, this is my offset spatula. And I take it, and this fun little table turns, and so it makes it easier. We're going to spread it just like this, as even as possible, and I let the table do most of the work. Oh, really? well, see, that's been our problem. We don't. We forget there to let the table go. do the work. <laughs> exactly. So I just keep spreading it until it kind of starts falling off the edges, and then I make it nice and pretty. And in the end, you actually have the cake that's on the end over there. Well, that is so pretty, and I know that you're getting ready for Valentine's Day doing some, some wine specials and mm -hmm. such. Absolutely. Um, at the ranch, we have a couple of great deals going on. We always have delicious desserts. We have yep. sweets. We have the chocolate cake. We have basically anything you can find in Texas, deep roots in Texas. Oh, and our chocolate cake is served with Sweet House ice cream. Oh, if you From insist. the Sweet House in Rowlett, they're amazing. Terrific. Off John Carpenter Freeway at MacArthur in Irving. We'll be right back. Recipes on the web.